Hello. This is episode five of our series A to Z, how to become a more effective worker on MTurk, new for 2020. In this episode, we'll be talking specifically about Hit Forker. Hit Forker is a script which is known as a scraper. What a scraper does is it searches the Mechanical Turk database repeatedly and at high speed for hits that you might want to do. Uh, hit, well, I like to use Hit Forker myself, although there are other scrapers. Uh, hit Forker is a little bit more compatible with Panda Crazy and also with the forum uh, work that I do on our hit stop. So we'll mostly be talking about Hit Forker. Uh, to get Hit Forker, you can download it once again from our scripts chart, which is showing on this page. Here's the URL right up here. You would click the download, and that would get it downloaded for you. And then you would go to a particular page. And that page is this page right here and you would click on that link when you click on that link that is the the page itself for hit forker that will show all of your hits it will look like this when you first open it up now there when you first open it up for the first time there may be a little disclaimer up here uh, that you can dismiss uh, about uh, Turk Review, but we're not going to deal with that part today. That'll be on a later episode. But here you can look and see this is Hit Forker. Now you may notice, by the way, that I still have Panda Crazy up here on my right hand side, where's, which is where I keep it all the time. And we'll show you a little bit about how that interacts with Hit Forker as we go along here. Now, right now, Hit Forker is not even on. It This would be the button right here where it says Start, that I would turn it on. Uh, the block list is exactly what it says. That would be any hits that you have added or requesters that you have added to the block list that you don't want to see anymore show up on Hit Forker. The include list is a bit redundant in my opinion. We really don't use it all that much. Uh, our hits and requesters that you specifically do want to be included in your listings here. Uh, advanced settings allow you to change the way that Hit Forker looks. And here's another place for you to enter your Turker View key. As you can see here on the advanced settings, you can change the look of Hit Forker. It has some themes. This is the default theme. They have a pastel theme, which is looks a little bit different. The dark theme, darker even than that, which I kind of like the darker theme, so I think I'll just leave it set at that for right now. Um, then you can save that, or you can actually change the different colors to customize the way it looks by clicking on custom and then setting it like that. So I'll save that because I like the darker and close it. Um, under the con show configuration, this is where you would set up how you want the the script hit forker to work for you search delay this is how many seconds are in between one search and another you don't the lower this is the more likely you will be to run into page request errors I usually because I'll use this in combination with Panda Crazy and with some other applications that we haven't talked about yet. 
I'll set mine up at about three seconds most of the time. If you are only using hit forker, you probably want to take it down to about one second. But you, once it's running, you can keep up with any page request errors you might be encountering by looking over here in Panda Crazy under their page request errors count right here. And that will show you. So if you're getting a lot of these, then you need to bring this up a little bit. We'll leave it like that for now. Minimum reward means it's going to be looking for hits. Right now it's set to $1. Be the minimum amount of pay for a hit that it'll be looking for. And that can go up or down. It can go to any one cent to zero cents. We'll leave that on a dollar for now. The minimum available is the minimum available number of hits that a particular hit has for you. Now that you can set that on one if you're only looking for something that, like a big batch that has hundreds or even thousands of available ones on it, you may want to ramp that up some. The minimum TO. TO stands for Turk Opticon, which is a apparatus that by getting reactions from other workers uh, sets up a reputation system for getting to know whether you're dealing with good requesters or a bad requester. Size determines how many hits will display on your screen here at a, at a time. 25 is pretty good. You may want to raise that up I wouldn't get it above about 50, I'd say, at the most. Sort by means how they're listed. They're, these will be listed right now, the newest to the oldest. They'll also go by most available or the highest reward. I usually set this on latest. Qualified, you will want to check that most likely because that means it's only searching for hits that you have qualifications to be able to do. Alert delay, you probably want to keep that set on zero because you want to hear an alert, like a beep, for example, right when a new hit gets comes up, if you're going to have one. Sound on a new hit, I usually don't use that, but a lot of people do. If you choose to click that, then you can then choose which sound that from this that you're going to hear. Uh, these basically allows the include list to send you a notification. You're probably not going to use that. Push bullet allows the include list matches to send push bullet notification. You're probably not going to use that. Enable Turk Opticon, you probably should use that. So let's click that. That means you'll get right in your listing some idea of the Turk Opticon rating for each individual hit or requester. Hide the non-include list. Hide all hits that do not match your include list. You're probably not going to want to click that. If you click that, that's going to restrict the number of hits that you're seeing quite a bit. And you don't really want that. Hide block list. You probably do want to click this because this means any hit that you have blocked, you don't want to see, or you wouldn't have blocked it. So if in order to keep them hidden, you need to click this. Now, when you set all of these the way you want to, you'll need to then hit the hide configuration box up here. And then you're about ready to begin. So we'll go ahead and we'll start it here and you'll see what it looks like. Now, before I, before I do that, you'll notice there's two separate sections here. There's the hit section and the log hit sections. The hit section will show all of the current hits that it is searched for and found on its most recent search. So if it's searching every second, then it's showing for that one second everything that it found up to 25 because you it's set at 25 as the maximum little show right here under logged hits it shows 
as long as you're logged in here, it'll show every hit that it has searched and found for you, in theory, all day long. Now, I'll show you here in a minute how that's an advantage for you. Right now, let's just turn it on and let it start finding some hits and show you what that looks like. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's found some hits here. And it's put them down here in the logged sec log hits section as well. Now, these hits are ones you could do. Now, if you wanted to try to just immediately click and do one, you would click on the name of the hit, and it would try to open that hit up for you like this. Okay? Now, and then I'd have to accept it right here. All right. Well, we're not going to do that right now. We're going to talk about the rest of these buttons and these features. Now here you have the name of the requester, the name of the hit. These buttons, these are buttons here, R, T, and I. These are block buttons. If you hit the R button, it will block this requester. That means if I hit this, it's going to block S3 Lab by adding it to my block list. And you'll see I'll save that. Then I'll go in and it disappears. And I go up here to my block list, and what do you know? S3 Labs in my block list. So let's take that back out because I don't mean to keep that in there. We will take this one and delete it from the block list like this. Then we will close the block list. So now it's back. Now under the T, the T adds the hit itself to the block list, not the requester. So you would see every other hit that might be by S3 Lab, but you will not see that hit. And if I hit that, then that will be added to the block list. And then you can see it's right there on the block list. So we will remove that off of there again and close that out again. All right. The I adds it to your include list. You're not going to use this very, this option very much. That would add it to your include list in the same way that the other two add to your block list. The VB stands for V Bulletin. That is the type of forum that we are at our hit stop. If I want to post this hit to our hit stop to share it with everyone else. I would click on that and it would copy it to my clipboard. When I went over to our hit stop, I could then right click over there and paste that hit on the board for everyone else. RC is a different kind of way to copy for other types of boards. Now we covered already this is the name of the hit. If you click on this it'll try to bring that one up right now. This is the number of tasks there are in this hit. This is under accept is this is how much the hit is worth. Now if you hit this Instead of this, this will bring the hit up and then you would have to accept it. This will bring the hit up and if it can, it will automatically go ahead and accept it. Now if I hit that right there, now it brought it up, but I've already completed that one, so I'd have to return it. So I'll return that and go back to where we were. TV is... Turk review, that is a time value, excuse me, it's time value. This is an estimate of what people have made doing this hit. This is basically, if you extended it out into an hourly wage, this gives you an idea how long this hit is going to take in order to do. This is not really all that accurate and I don't use that feature for very much myself, but you might. TO means this is a Turk Opticon rating. If you click on the rating, it'll bring up Turk Opticon for that 
one and you can see a breakdown of how everyone has fared on that hit whether they liked it or not. The panda buttons. We talked about this a little bit when we talked about panda crazy. The P puts a pan a regular panda over here into panda crazy. The O puts a once panda over here into panda crazy. I won't go into that very much because we covered that quite a bit in an earlier uh, episode, so you might want to refer back to that. Now, as time goes on throughout the day, this section of logged hits will get longer and longer and longer, while these cycle in and out and new ones get added to it and so forth. This changes so much and sometimes so fast that when I would maybe go to accept one of these hits, another one might pop into its place and I might accidentally click the wrong one. I see like right there. Click the wrong one. But if I go down here into the logged hits, they stay as long as I'm stayed logged in. So Hit Forker is a really good way, it's a scraper, to search for and then either try and directly accept or create pandas for or be able to post a hit to our, our message board. This right here, the combination of a scraper such as Hit Forker and Panda Crazy and uh, the message board, this is how a great majority of MTurk workers do their work every day. This is the way we all have worked day in and day out for years in many cases. Uh, at our hit stop, we have developed some more technology that basically makes a lot of, a lot of this somewhat obsolete, but we'll get to that in a later episode too. But if you want to see basically what the best way of working on MTurk right now, perhaps, definitely last year and prior to that, this was the cutting edge of what you can do or what you could do at that time. Now we'll continue on. In our next episode, we'll be talking about a few other small scripts that we want to mention that will make MTurk work a little bit easier for you. If this video has been of help to you, please be sure to click subscribe and to check out our other videos on YouTube. If you'd like to increase the amount of income you're making on Mechanical Turk, one of the best ways is to become a member of an online worker group. There are several of these groups on the internet, but of course, I recommend ours at ourhitstop.com. We aren't called the friendliest MTurk worker board on the web for nothing. Membership is free, so stop by and learn from hundreds of experienced Turkers. I can't guarantee how much, but I can guarantee that you'll learn how to make more money by being a part of our group. We also have some exclusive tools that you won't find anywhere else that can dramatically increase your earnings now.